the only thing I don't like about Git is that all your source code, all the revisions are on your local machine. So if something happens to it, uh, all your code's gone if you don't have backups. So this is easily fixed by setting up a remote server, either on another computer or off-site, where you can push and pull from to have your full revision history and all your branches backed up. So this is how you do it. Right now I'm SSH'd into a, another server. Um, you should set up some keys first. So if you're unfamiliar familiar with SSH keys, just uh, follow my tutorial on my site that I have. Let me pull it up and it will show you how to set up passwordless login for SSH. So just go here and it's really easy to set up and get going. So just follow these right here. So now that we have that, I'm SSH'd into it. I'm in my repos folder. So let's create a new directory. So mkdr uh, http assistant dot git. And the dot gets just to help us uh, see that this is a git repository or whatever. So now make I'm running on a Debian system, so make sure you have git installed. If you don't, just do apt git install git core, and that will install git for you. So now that we have that, let's cd into http assistant.git, our folder we just created, and let's type git in it, and then tack tack bear. And now if we ls tack a, we can see all the git files that are in it now. So now that we have that, let's cd out of that and go into our local machine. And I'll ls, this is all my repositories. So let's cd into HTTP assistant. And I'll do ls tack a and you'll see that there's a git folder here. So this is a git repository. If I launch a github for Mac, we can see in my HTTP assistant repository here have three different branches and I have a whole revision history for each branch okay so now that we have that let's set the origin for this um, local repository and to do that we say git remote add origin and now we need to tell it where to push and pull so we'll say ssh and then your username for your SSH session and then I'm pushing to another computer on my network and then slash and then I want my home folder repos slash HTTP assistant dot git alright then all you do is hit enter this will add it as the origin and now we want to push this all my revision history from my local machine to my server so I'll say git push and then push where my origin and what do I want to push we can push um, individual branches or if I want to just push the entire thing just say tack tack all hit enter and then this is taking everything, pushing it to my server, and it's done. So now, what if I want to check and make sure that this worked, see how to get things out. Let me cd out of here and make a new directory. Oops. HTTP test cd into that, and I can do a um, get clone and let me actually go back here and always change this so after you have we just clone this and clone what my server and repository hit enter 
and it clones the entire repository for us. So if we ls a, we can see it made a new folder. So cd, and then there's all my stuff again. So it's pretty easy to set up a server.